Another fantastic morning, similar to the other ones that we've been having recently, because recently things have been getting done. It feels so good to have the electricians done, and we've cleaned up, and it's just nice and neat, and everything works, which is A+. plus. We're gonna get a couple more light bulbs for the bathroom, and we're going to get screws. I just guessed 10 bags of screws ought to be enough, but each bag is 100 in them, 1,000 screws. Well, we used up 1,000 screws, putting in these little board panels, because there's two screws per panel and there's five panels per and there's 64 panel if you can do the math on that whew, you're better than me um, there's a lot more than just 64 panels in different sizes and some of them have more than two some of them have five it's hard to do the math but I'm gonna go get three mil tres mil mas tornillas the perfecto tornillas there's something here about on the last build we had we didn't have tornillas I don't know will it focus on this little guy but it has these two little wings there and those wings make it so the screw doesn't go through the plastic thing so you just put it in the plastic thing and then you slide it into place and then you screw down with the other ones that don't have those little wings they slip through the hole and it's really hard to move the piece underneath these plastic clips so these screws are fantastic and I'm gonna get two or three I'm gonna get three million more not million that's Spanish for thousand um, and uh, Osmond's gonna paint uh, some of the welds we added last night need to be painted and then he's gonna be back on putting the floor in place I'm gonna do some math on how many more Plastimax. Plastimax, thank you for making such a great product. If anybody uh, is looking for a high quality, easy to use decking material, uh, Plastimax has an awesome product. I find it better than the other solutions so far available here. And we're using it for both vertical wall panels and floor panels. And we're using the gap, uh, Ple Pleximax, and the Sin Gap, the overlap, which is kind of a tongue and groove type thing. This is really, really good stuff so check them out we're gonna go to the hardware store Osmond's gonna get more floor on hopefully today you're gonna get to see this floor in there on the floor let's go finding everything that I need at Construmas in not Platanillo there's two Platanillos kind of confusing this one is near the beach that I really like Playa Linda it's past that it's called Matapao Matapalo Matapalo yes it is and it's an excellent pedateria I've been searching everywhere for this because I have a hard time getting my um, tape measure in Spanish cinta into my little clip that I have but this one has a metal clip so I think it's gonna work great and I can fit a few more tools I usually need screwdriver but now we're gonna fight over them because I'm gonna have them on me instead of me going asking who has them They'll be with me. So I'm excited. But so far a good day. Cuanto cuesta? Uh, 58, Moment of pain the ferreteria as fantastic as it is is 20 minutes that way and 20 minutes back and that's the problem right there i didn't bring one with me i had one in my hand and i put it down somewhere i get to the ferreteria and i didn't have one in my hand to know which one it was was it an inch or was it an inch and a quarter i said if an inch is too short i know an inch and a quarter is gonna work inch and a quarter but the inch and a quarter when it goes in the drill bit spins it and it's really hard to do so i gotta drive back and replace the inch and a quarter for inchers and i'm i'm putting this in my pocket again i'm putting it in the front right cargo pocket there it's on video now if I forget where I put it, it's in there. It's nice and safe. Um, so we're gonna, we're basically gonna have all the plastic boards cut for the floor while I go away, and then when I get back, we'll do two drills, inch, inch tornillas, tornilla con broca is the punta, punta broca, uh, con ellas, wings. I think not ellas, alas, alas are the wings, and the wings stop it. It works so well. I'm gonna show you. It's so. Is it? This is the type of thing that's exciting to me. Is these are not meant to go together like this company doesn't know this company so that's pretty cool but when you put this on the metal and that's what the plastic board slips under like that right so you put the plastic board you slip that in place and then you put the screw in um the little a the little a alas alas the alas stop it from going down whereas the other screw goes in and it's really hard to get it into place so this you just put there like that 
the, ele the alas, stop it, slide it into place and drill. But since it's an inch and a quarter, it moves around too much. We need the shorter one where you can just bang it out. So those are a few tricks. You know what? There's more. This is not even the clip that the company recommends you use with these type of boards, okay? They recommend you use this metal one that's totally different and I don't like it. And it takes two screws to put in. This one is made for their um, cone gap. That's not right. But the one with the gap, the outside one, not for the overlapping tongue and groove, which we're using. But this works better for us at Radpad. And then the screw isn't owned by them. So we're like doing everything you're not supposed to. And it works so freaking good. So let's go get one inch screws and get back as soon as possible. This is uh, uno y cuarto. Is possible cambio? All right, so anybody who has ever built a deck in their life has probably refinished the deck. And there's all sorts of ways you can make the deck last longer. One way is on these beams under here, if it's a wood deck, you put a rubber like tape on it. And then the majority of the rot happens where the water sits in between the cracks here. Uh, so that's one way of doing it. I like using galvanized steel with paint on it and it doesn't seem to rust very much, especially when you use a tongue and groove product like this. But I also really like the way that the, um, the system goes together for putting it together. You're sliding a board under and then you're taking the clip, slide the clip right into place. And I'm kind of A, B in two different drills here. So this drill is very inexpensive and the batteries are inexpensive and they have a lot of different products that work off the same batteries and they charge pretty quick. Uh, pretty good, very robust, like it works great. Um, and then there's the Trooper one. And the Trooper seems, it has a little bit of lag when you hit go, it's like boom, where that one's like boom right off the start. But this one seems smoother when drilling, which is nice. So I don't know which one is necessarily better that one, that one is definitely more powerful. Um, so I don't know, I, I kind of enjoy this one. I like both. I like doing that side with that one and this side with this one. But this system for putting this deck together is fantastic. And that the same system works for the wall panels. It just makes it so good. So if you're thinking about doing a deck, I'd definitely check out this product. Um, it's definitely a lot more expensive than wood, but like what's more expensive? Finishing your deck again or um, spending a little bit more on the product? So I, I like to think that the product is as expensive as it is over a period of time. So over 10 or 15 years, you're not gonna have to do anything with this, but with a wood deck, you're gonna have to sand it. And then you know when you sand it and restain it, you're not really getting in between the boards and you're certainly not getting under the boards. Um, so I don't know, wood's nice, but down here in Costa Rica, there's just rain and sun and rain and sun and rain and sun and every type of bug in the world that wants to eat it. I definitely, I would do it in wood. I just, they'd have to like make a wood tongue and groove system that would copy this because the way it works is just so genius. It's like it has this, this part here, so it just fits over that just perfectly. Gives you the exact amount of space where you can fit this little clip. It goes right in between there and you don't see any of the screws and it's, it's rock solid, it's in there forever. So I'm really enjoying this process. Uh, we've got a little bit more to do, just keep on going. It is a little time consuming, but the best part about it is when you do it, it's done and it's done right. There's no, you don't like split wood. I don't know if you've put in a deck and you've split the wood. That's always kind of a pain in the ass, you know? And when you, you do the screw in the top, you gotta pilot the screw and then put the screw in. And then some people take a plug and put the plug in, cut it, do all that. Other people just leave the hole there and then you've got two things. You can have the, 
the screw be flush with it, but over time the wood will contract or, or expand, and then you'll either have a puddle where the water goes to rest the screw, or you'll have the screw sticking up, which will, you know, you'll be walking barefoot and boom, a screw to the foot. That sucks. So, I can't say enough good stuff about this product. I'm super stoked on these guys for making it readily available for us to work with in Costa Rica. It definitely puts us on a different level, that's for sure. I'm gonna keep going. Super awesome end of day today. The sunset is beautiful. We got the drone up there, so hopefully you're getting a good look at that. Um, the rad pad end of day is beautiful. So we've got our order list for pla uh, pla Plexi Max, Maxi Plex, Plexi Plasti Max. That's it. But take a look in here. She is looking gorgeous. Look at that floor. Isn't it beautiful? It's kind of got the surfboard runner look. That's what we're going for. Um, so there's the dividers, each room. Oh, there's rope lights on that too. I didn't turn it on. Let me turn that on for you. Over here you would walk and you would conveniently find the switch located right back here. Flip that sucker on. What? That is gorgeous. And then we're gonna have all behind on that back wall there is gonna be a stainless steel industrial looking kitchen gonna be absolutely gorgeous. Ceiling fans are working great. Uh, the kids' bedroom is looking nice. It's got the rope lights underneath the bottom bed. Uh, towel racks on the side. Uh, put some Bondo on the little holes. So we had little holders and we decided to go with a stronger roofing screw so it'll last forever, because that's more rad. So we pulled those out and put a little Bondo on there. Uh, the lava lamp, I don't know if you know what a lava lamp is, but if you look in there, you can see stuff, man, soon. It's got, it's got like balls that bounce around. Where's the ball? Come on, show me a ball. There's a ball. See it going up? There went a ball. And then up here you got another fan, another fan. Just blowing fresh air all over the place. So one, two, three beds. That worked out really well. And then the master bedroom. It's all ready for just the top, the top pieces, boards on each panel. But look at that storage, isn't that beautiful? That is plenty. That's like waking up to that, you got your ceiling fan all mounted on that special beam that we welded, suspended in the air. You've got your Edison light bulbs. You've got four shelves for each, each uh, side, or if it's just you, you got, you got 10 shelves. It's a lot of shelf. You got your clothes hanger down here below to hang your clothes. You got, what do we got here? We got two towel racks, beautiful towel racks right there. Under the window, tons of airflow. Bedside tables, huh? Those things are beautiful. You got a bed, strong as can be. Two by two, heavy gauge, galvanized steel welded to the freaking frame and the floor. Uh, the uh, foot the footrest came out pretty rad. I'm pretty stoked about that. Same with the rope lights. The rope lights are really, really doing it to it. Um, and then the sink. So this is what we did for the sink. Definitely pretty rad. Big enough for two people to brush their teeth at the same time if they need to. And then a nice towel rack here below, mounted to to it. Super strong. You got one, two, three, four, five. Is that six or? Five? Five. I think five shelves there on the wall. Then this was done today, so this is where the shower is. And uh, we extended this post here to go up and put a one by one bar across for the shower curtain, but it also doubles as a pull up bar. So I needed a pull up bar, and it's super, super strong. So you can do pull ups right there. 
And then where the toilet goes is going to go there. I'd have to say it feels amazing to have this much completed. And it is, um, well, it's freaking rad. So thanks for watching. Tomorrow you're going to get to see the floor finished. And I'm going to go shopping in San Isidro. I'm picking up the kitchen, a stainless steel kitchen prep station and the sinks and the toilet and the shower. And I think that's it. Oh, and some more plastic board for the outside that go around the perimeter. So you get to see the outside finished. And then we order the plastic uh, boards needed to finish the house. And that'll come in in like about a week usually is what it takes them. And then this project is done and we're off to the next, which is super exciting for four big ass rad pads in the same location on the freaking river. It's going to be amazing. So keep watching. Thanks for watching. If you haven't liked, subscribe and share with your friends, really appreciate it. Send it to your mom. Send your mom a link to these videos, please. Thank you. Have a great night. Pura Vida.